Hey, how you been? Today, let's make something that will belong to one of the most chill genres you can listen to these days. Chill step is a distant relative of the modern day tap step. Even the earlier versions of chill step tracks had a lot of vocal bases in it. But those have decreased over the time and it has become like an electronified modern version of lo-fi. I'm gonna start off by adding an atmospheric piano. This sound is one of the main characteristics of chill step. And this is the chord progression that we are gonna use. Then added laps by Spitfire Audio, chose a pad sound in it and then copied the MIDI that we recorded before and edited it to get this. Then added Helm, chose this sub bass preset to play the root notes of the chord progression. Loaded some drum samples into Sitala and using step sequencer made this simple drum beat. Another important characteristic of chill step is that they are drenched in reverb, meaning most of the instruments or in other words, most of the tracks will be having a reverb effect on it. But we are not gonna do that. Instead we are gonna use only a single reverb plugin for all the tracks. To do that, first we are going to insert a bus in which we are going to add our reverb plugin. And in that plugin, we are going to decrease the low frequencies and a little bit of the mid frequencies. And we are going to completely remove the dry signal and increase the wet signal to around 0 dB. As an additional measure to prevent any low end rumble, which is pretty bad for any mix, I'm gonna use the Pro Channel EQ to cut off the low end of the reverb effect. Since we want the Pro Channel EQ to be after the reverb plugin in the root of the audio signal, we have to enable this post. Now we can add reverb to any track in the project just by adding a send from that track to the reverb bus. What's happening here is that a copy of the original dry signal of that track is being sent to the reverb bus. And since we completely dialed down on the dry signal slider on the reverb plugin, only the effect is going to come through that bus which will eventually join with the dry signal in the master bus. We can control the amount of reverb by controlling the amount of signal that is being sent to the reverb bus. I've observed heavy sidechaining on the sub bass and the other synths with the kick, so I replicated that. Then I did some mixing accompanied with some changing of sounds and for some mid bass I added this crunchy bass preset in Helm, completely removed the sub, the high and a little bit of the mid frequencies from that sound, enabled the legato and increased the portmanteau slide to get this sound. Added ozone imager to the crunch base and decreased the sub in the same. Then made the drums a little bit more interesting by adding some hi-hats and some foley samples. I think that's how it's pronounced. If you don't know what foley is, these are some foley or foley samples. For some added flexibility, I bounced the step sequencer clip so that I can work out the drums in piano roll.
it's time for some vocal chops. For that, we need a sampler and TX16WX is the best one for what I have in mind. Let's open up the regions in the sampler to drag in some vocal one shots that we got from Cymatics. Not that I'm stretching them across an octave. Luckily, the pitch of that sample is there in its name, so we don't have to find it to do this. Now we can play that sample in all the nodes of that octave. And just like that, I assigned more vocal one shots to each different octaves. If you want to replace any sample, you can just drag the new one onto the region of the one you want to replace. Then I made this vocal chop pattern. It's time to arrange. And my arrangement has a lot of automation on cutoff value of low pass filter. If the parameter that you are trying to automate is something native to Cakewalk, you can right click it and select automation snapshot. This will add its automation lane with a node corresponding to the value of the position of the knob or slider. Then we can add more nodes and automate it the way we want. I got some free chill winter samples from this video which I added to make it a little more interesting and give it that winter vibe. I felt a need for a soft melody in the background, so I added this in Keys 1 Classic. Copy that into a pad in Labs. Doubled it with a slow swelling strings from labs. Only the strings is going through the sidechain bus, while the other two sounds are going straight to the master bus. Therefore, their volume will not duck down during a kick. As a final touch, let's make the intro smoother by freezing the Atmos piano track with only the first chord. Then take that audio clip into an audio track where we can reverse it. Arranging it along with the MIDI of the Atmos piano will give us this. Ok we are done, now let's listen to the preview.
leave a like if you found this video useful. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any future uploads. And stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you next time.